Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today we're going to talk about the Elite Trials. A little bit different than the uh, regular Alliance boss. Uh, the regular Alliance boss is much more difficult. Uh, your formations on there are, are kind of basic in a sense, but um, just as they are in the Elite Trials. But the Elite Trials, you can, you can really get some uh, damage to a uh, particular boss by putting a, you know, a DPS in front um, instead of having to tank those hits, at least until you get to the uh, later stages. So um, we're at uh, the fourth uh, level right now in the Epic League. And also as you go along, you will get these, these chests. So the first one, um, well, you get a bunch of chests. This was not the first one, but uh, you'll get for each level, you get a chest. So this is the fourth chest that we've gotten. And you can check on that by going down here to the trial bonus. And you can see the bonuses that I've uh, acquired. Now, um, I haven't opened this one yet because I wanted to use it as an example. So if I um, click on it, you can see you have different uh, uh, selections here. You have this one you have is strategy, um, sorry, strategy for these two and prowess for this one. And then you also, you also have a refresh button that'll cost you some diamonds. Uh, now, my recommendation would be to go for either prowess or attack because they will directly affect your uh, amount of damage that you're doing. Um, uh, by the prowess which increases your if you increase the prowess you technically are increasing your attack for your uh, uh, your commanders and the attack obviously is the same thing and the strategy and then you have other ones as well which you know they'll have they'll have strategy and you'll have um, a few other things in here that uh, that help you but at the same time they may not they won't do as much damage to uh, to these bosses so um, I could take the 5% here, which really, it's, since it's, you know, it's common, it's really not that much. I could go for a couple refreshes. Let's see what, let's see what we can uh, refresh it, maybe something a little better. And there we go. Allied Spearman, Commander Attack, an uncommon one. There's 10%. That would be so much better than, because uh, my, my Spear Commanders actually are, uh, do more damage anyway. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm not even going to go any further than that. And I'll just take that selection. And then you have another box here that when you do clear that, uh, special bo uh, special boss right there you actually can get a chance for some uh, friendship chests now here is this is actually really nice it's you have a you know two out of three chance of getting a gold chest um and we'll look at that i got the best one which is fantastic so uh that's a good little start to that and uh next next up once the reset comes here we'll 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 dive right into these uh commanders and uh show you the kind of strategy to look for so we're back at reset and now we're going to try to go after Clegane here and or the hound however you want to say them so you want to put those horses up front those cavalry so we're going to put Enzo up there a little more um, he's going to absorb the damage you don't want any healers here because you really don't need at this point I don't believe um, you will later on and then put those ones up front and then put some of these uh, you know these other ones in the back that don't do as much damage and then Oh, they already killed him. See, you got to be quick on this too. So now we're going to go to um, to Theon here. So now you want your bows in. And like I said, these at the very early stages, they can go kind of quick. So you got to be a little bit careful. But uh, so I'm going to put my three big damage dealers up front that I want there. Um, you can put other ones in too that are going to buff them if you want that. If not, then just go for other ones that maybe don't do as much damage. Like Robert's pretty bad. You don't care about him. Melisandre is not very good to, to do a lot of damage. And uh, Cersei's, yeah, I guess she does about a little bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. So I'll probably put her in there anyway as well. Do a little damage there. And as you can see, we're getting, we're upgrading here. Other people are hitting them. So like I said, you got to be a little bit quick when it comes to this. But you can still put these, you know, these other ones up there. And this is going to be real quick anyway. And then boom, hits it. So, um, and it'll probably go out pretty, pretty fast. I think there's enough people online right now to be able to, to do the next one. But um as you can see, you want to continue to do this and try to do this. Like, so the next one up is going to be uh, uh, Littlefinger, and he is um, uh, cavalry. So we're going to do some spears next. So we have some spears here, and you kind of try to plan for it a little bit. So now you got two more, two infant, actually got three infantry here. So once we get to Arya, um, you won't have to be as fast because you'll have one, two more after that. You'll be able to, to do as well. So if, even in a, a bigger alliance. Um, if only if everybody's online where you have to worry about it too much, but have three of them to kill at once with the same troop type will be a little bit different. And then you come back to, um, the, uh, 
um, cavalry again here for the for the to finish off this level. So um, we'll have to see what happens then. So and here we are. We're back with uh, going into the spears. So we're going to try to get those as quickly as we can. This one will go faster because you can do more damage. So we'll put Julian in there, and since I have her, I'll put her Danny in there, and then Arslan, and then we'll throw some of these um, some of these other ones in the back that are more tanks than anything. And uh, yeah, so he really killed that time. So that really actually hurt a little bit. And see, they're doing some serious damage. So we're going to try to get back to that as fast as we can. Should put her in the middle because she'll do that. And hopefully I didn't. Okay, perfect. So I, I may have screwed up there a little bit. I probably should have put Marjorie in the back um, in that first hit to at least to give some uh, some more time to hit because it looked like uh, he killed most of them. Um, so that wasn't uh, that wasn't very good. So I'll probably uh, probably won't do so well when it comes to the total damage. Um, but that's fine. Like I said, you're just you're just trying to get them in as fast as you can. You can see it's already at 12 percent and um, probably going to go down from there. And so we're back here. Uh, finally, they got through um, Baelish, and actually they got through Arya as well. So now we're on both of these. Um, now the choice to, uh, to pick one, uh, choice to uh, which way to go, it uh, kind of varies. I guess right now you're probably still going to go after her because you, um, you still want to get these uh, boxes up to a certain point. But after a certain point, it's uh, it's very these these bosses almost get as uh, difficult as the regular ones, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna just go for uh, uh, Sonara in this case, but uh, like I said, we were gonna do this before on the other one. So again, I want to put Enzo up front, and then two, my two other damage dealers up there as well. Um, so with that damage, and I'm probably actually this time I maybe I'll put Gene in there for to heal a little bit, and it may be over it may overdo it for him. I'm not really sure on that. Then then put some of your uh, your less damage healers like I don't think Witten's a very good one too but he stuns and we really don't want to stun this boss because we want the damage to continue to go through Enzo so no stunners in there so he's probably a good one to put in the back they all stun um, Layla actually does a decent amount of damage I'll keep her there and then maybe I think yeah I think Leanna is more yeah they're pretty close I guess so I'll just do that so that was a nice damage uh, there yeah 3.4 million not too bad and then we'll go back and this time, um, which one you want to put up front, it really doesn't matter too much. I'm thinking these two up front, and then he's in the back. He doesn't do much damage, so we'll put him in the back center here. And I want to say with Rob being awakened a little bit, he might be better. 5,200 for his base. His is 30-some, and he does 4,000. Yeah, we'll put him here. I mean, it's, it's maybe negligible, but always good to have it. So... Um, so there we go. We have all that. I've done most except for the one, which is the infantry. Um, and the infantry will come when, when we get. So now now you want to wait. See, most people want to go ahead and, and try to attack these. But you always want to do the counters for every single one. So just make sure you do your counters. Um, if, you, if you get down to the end or you miss it, then, you know, like I have infantry left, then try to hit an infantry or try to hit a bow. Don't try to hit the, uh, the cav because um, it's just not going to work. You're going to you know, you're going to lose that damage massively. So, and you can see as you get some points um, up here, go to your shop and, and make sure you get all the Tyrion medals if you don't have him gold. And even if you do have him gold, it might be worth getting them as well because um, once he becomes awakened, whenever that may be, it be, might be worth to have uh, extra ones in there. I have 28 right now. I haven't bought any of them. I'm still actually working on some of these other uh, other things in here. So just uh, something for uh, to think about in the end. Um, and you can see the rewards that you get. This this will actually tell you the reward level. So if you go to individual honor reward here, and then you scroll down, um, you can see all the check marks. So I have 86,000 points so far. Uh, actually, I have 94,000, but I've passed the 86 mark. So once I get to this, so 101,000, then I get to this phase 10, and you get all these bonuses here. So the goal is, you know, for the individually, is why you really want to do this event is because you want to keep going down more and more, and you get the whole way down all these friendship chests that will help you get more diamonds. You get more of these coins to use in the uh, the shop as well, and then that once you get down here, you get a couple badge chests, so which is really nice to have a they're common to rare, but still just something to uh, to, to kind of push yourself for, which is which is nice as well. Then you have the alliance stage, and uh, you, you can go down through these and see which one at 4:10. So once we get past uh, that stage, then you get this bonus here as well. So um, I think that's about it. I'm not going to go any further in. I'm not going to wait and uh, record any more um, once I get, uh, you know, you kind of get the gist of which, you know, commanders to use, you know, put those DPSs up front, 
Um, you, you can put the tanks in the back. If the DPS is, you know, don't have a whole lot of health, maybe you put a, one healer in there just to kind of keep them alive. But that's all you really want to do. You don't need to put uh, all your DPSs in one uh, at one time. Just put them in that front row to the max damage you can. Um, and so that's about it. Uh, until next time, Mac, Mac out.